This is the first video of a two parts tutorial on Qt charts. We are going to design this user interface from scratch, then add these charts. We will also build and animate this user interface using the custom widgets module which will simplify the work for us, so stay tuned to the end. Before we get started, you need to have PySide, PyQt, and Qt Designer installed. You also need to have Python installed and have some basic knowledge of how Qt Designer works. If you're new to the channel, please feel welcomed and join the community by subscribing. For those of you who have been following this channel, you might have noticed that I mainly focus on Qt GUI development, but now we will be changing that. This is probably the second last tutorial on Qt applications, so I'll switch the focus to other Python UI modules. So I would love to announce to you guys that the Kyvi and Electron JS tutorials are coming soon, don't miss that. I will also be doing a few Qt tutorials from time to time, but not that often. This is the user interface we are going to design from scratch in Qt. Open your Qt designer. Then build this key with me, I will explain some steps as we continue designing. Now this is what my project folder looks like, I have the fonts folder, the images folder, and the icons folder which we will be using later in Qt Designer.
Now let's add the style sheet. I'm just going to paste the code, then update the ID of the element. This is the style sheet, but we will make a few changes to it. In this style sheet, we applied a custom front, so let's add that font face to the resource file. Now the next step is to update the ID of the element and rename some elements of widgets.
We are done now designing the user interface, now save the UI, then generate the Python code. This is the UI file generated, now the last thing we are going to do is to make the main Python file, then load the user interface we just created. This is the code inside the main Python file. We also need to convert the QRC resource file into a Python file by running the following command inside your project folder. Now when I run the main python file, this is what I get. We will focus more on the main python file in the next video, and see how we can add these charts, and also style the user interface using the json file, so stay tuned for that. The full source code is available for download to my Patreon supporters. It will also be publicly available once I upload the final part of this tutorial. A special shout out to all of you guys for your continued support, especially my Patreon supporters who are making it possible for me to continue creating more content. Thank you guys. Okay, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and bye bye. I'll see you in the next video. Enjoy the rest of your day.